Hello friends, this video on algebra part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned so far, we will look at some questions. Question number 1. The side of a regular hexagon is denoted by L. Express the perimeter of the hexagon using L. So what is the meaning of perimeter? So perimeter is nothing but the total length of boundary that is the sum of all sides. So how many sides do you have in this case? You have 6 sides. So that is 6 multiplied by the length of each side which is L. So therefore perimeter will be equal to 6L. Question number 2. The diameter of a circle is a line which joins two points on the circle and also passes through the center of the circle. AB is a diameter of the circle because this C is the center. So this line passes through the center and it joins two opposite points A and B. Express the diameter of the circle D in terms of its radius R. So when you look at the relationship between diameter and radius in a circle, we all know that the diameter of a circle is always equal to twice the value of radius. That means two times the radius. So we can say that D is equal to 2R. So here D and R are two variables which represent the diameter and the radius. Now as the radius keeps changing, like if the value of the radius is 2 cm, then diameter becomes 4 cm. If radius is 10 cm, then diameter becomes 20 cm. So as R keeps changing, D also keeps changing. Question number 3. Leela is Radha's younger sister. Leela is 4 years younger than Radha. So let's say that this is Radha and this is Leela. So Leela is younger and she is 4 years younger than Radha. Can you write Leela's age in terms of Radha's age? Take Radha's age as x years. So Radha is x years old and Leela is younger than Radha. So that means Leela's age will be lesser than Radha's age. So what would be Leela's age? So Leela's age would be 4 less than Radha's age. So that is it would be x minus 4. So therefore Leela's age would be x minus 4 years. Question number 4. Oranges are to be emptied from larger boxes into smaller boxes. When a large box is emptied, the oranges form from it fill two smaller boxes and still 10 oranges remain outside. So basically there were oranges in a large box. So let's say that this is the large box and when this large box was emptied, the oranges filled two smaller boxes. So let's say these are the smaller boxes. So these two smaller boxes were filled plus on top of this there were some 10 oranges which were left. So basically two smaller boxes plus 10 oranges. All of these together is equal to the total number of oranges in the large box. Now the question says if the number of oranges in a small box are taken to be x. So let's say that the number of orange inside the smaller box is x. The number of orange inside this small box is also x. What is the number of oranges in the larger box? So larger box orange would be how much? So this would be equal to x plus x plus 10. Now 1x plus 1x is equal to 2x plus 10. So therefore the total number of oranges in the larger box would be 2x plus 10. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.